What's up everyone, Coach Dale here with Ka Orta Fitness. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through another fat burning circuit workout. Let's get started. Back, back, back from the dead. Okay, so the first exercise is 180 degree squat spins. The main thing with this exercise is as you get tired, you're gonna be tempted to wanna stand up more and more. So just be disciplined, stay deep in that squat if you can. If the squat spins are a little bit too challenging for you, you can just do a low impact pivot and squat. After your first exercise, you're gonna do a bear crawl. So what I did, is after each exercise, I'm gonna do some type of continuous activity. For the first one, it's a bear crawl. I'm gonna bear crawl 50 yards and then I'm gonna jog back. So I have 100 yards total to complete, but I'm only gonna do the bear crawl for the first 50 yards. The bear crawl is a very grindy, difficult exercise. Just put your head down and get after it. Good luck with that. And then when you get to the 50 yard mark, just easy jog back, this is part of your recovery. The second exercise is a plyometric or clap push-up. So this is just a high speed kind of plyometric push-up. You can clap if you want or you can skip the clap and just push up off the ground. Um, keep your core tight, your back flat and be explosive with your chest. If that exercise is too hard, too difficult for you, you can just do it from your knees. You can see here, it takes a lot of the um, challenge out of that exercise but it's still an explosive chest exercise. Then you're going to do a crossover for 50 yards and crossover back. So you're going to face the same way. So you're going right on the way out and left on the way back. The third exercise is the extended arm side plank with knee to elbow. This is a really challenging side plank variation that um, really you, you need a lot of core stability and strength for this one. So if this exercise is too challenging for whatever reason, you can do the same exercise. You can do a side plank without the extended arm. You can do it on your knees or you can do it um, like a regular side plank with your legs fully extended. Just make sure that you, you know, keep your core tight, squeeze your glutes, keep your head and your shoulders back. And um, this is a really, really solid core stability exercise. When you're done with your side plank, you're just going to side shuffle. Side shuffle to your right or to your left, doesn't matter. Pick a side, go down 50 yards, and go down back. Make it nice and easy. Again, this is part of your recovery. The fourth exercise is the lateral push-up walk. Um, <clears throat> so this is another push-up variation. You're going to step out with one leg and one arm and push up, and then just you're walking laterally. And uh, what I do is I, I think I did uh, eight reps to the right and then eight reps back. And then if that is too difficult, shorten the lever again. You know, you can do it from your knees and um, it just makes that exercise a little bit more, more doable or just do regular push-ups. Then uh, backpedal. You're going to backpedal 50 yards and then easy jog forward on your way back. The fifth and final exercise of this circuit are called goal jacks. This is just a bent over version of a regular jumping jack where you are targeting your back, your upper back a little bit more. And if this exercise is a little bit too difficult for you, you can do a stationary reverse um, fly just like the goal jack but without the extra jumping movement. After your fifth exercise, you got a simple jog. You're going to jog 50 yards down and 50 yards back for a nice 100 yard easy jog. This is your recovery. Then I recommend you rest for 60 seconds and then repeat. You can do two, three, four rounds, whatever you want. The last thing I wanted to say is that if you don't have a field or place to go do this type of workout where you can't run or you know do the side shuffles, the crossover, swap out those exercises for something 
stationary. You can do jogging in place. You can do jump rope if you have one. Um, you can do kind of like plyometric jumps. Um, you can just do kind of like moving in place, marching in place, whatever works for you to kind of keep that heart rate elevated but still allow you to recover. So for a quick summary, for intermediate or advanced, you can do a 180 degree squat spins, plyo or clap push-ups, extended arm side plank with knee to elbows, lateral push-up walk, and goal jacks. And then after each exercise, just do a 100 yard um, interval of some type of um, running, jogging, side shuffle, crossover activity. Same thing for a beginner or low impact exercise, just swap out those more challenging exercises for the you know the, the uh, scaled down versions of those exercises rest 60 seconds after each round and do it again so some of my main goals for this workout um, were that i wanted to train fasted again first thing in the morning uh, so that i get that compounded benefit of being fasted and then doing a kind of a fat burning type of workout and then I wanted to make sure that I trained for 20 minutes or more. Last week I, I did just over 15 and I wanted to try to hit that 20 minute mark this week. And then another thing I want to do is, again, one of the goals is just to keep that heart rate elevated so that you know, I'm constantly working, I'm kind of mimicking a kind of steady state cardio type of workout. And then the last thing um, I wanted to make sure was that I maintain good technique throughout the whole workout. So that's partly why I wanted to order the exercises in a descending uh, difficulty and effort level. In my opinion, this type of workout is a little more interesting and engaging than a just steady state cardio, whether it be biking or just running or swimming. Sometimes that can get a little monotonous. So for me, I like to change it up sometimes and this is one way to do, do that, to, but you're still able to get a really good um, continuous workout that's still stimulating kind of your your fat metabolism. Another benefit of this type of workout is um, it targets more muscle groups very specifically compared to something like running or biking. Um, yeah, those exercises can be considered mostly whole body exercises, but they're not specifically training movements. And with this type of exercise or this type of workout, you can really target specific muscle groups so I can do push-ups and that's going to target my chest I can do you know um, squats and that's going to target more of my glutes um, so when you do specific exercises it just allows you to target specific muscle groups and if you pair them together like I have in this circuit you're still able to get you know a um, the metabolic adaptations and that fat burning metabolism burning just like steady state cardio, but you're not doing the steady state cardio. Another thing is training fasted. Training fasted, you know, your body, when you're fasted, your body's already in a kind of a fat burning metabolism. You're, you're naturally burning primarily fat. And um, so when you train while you're fasted, you're just compounding that effect. And what that does is it helps your body become more efficient at burning fats so it's more likely to be burning fats throughout the entire day um, and that's good because if you're trying to cut cut weight a little bit get a little bit leaner like myself um, that's just a little added benefit in the long run and it doesn't really take that much I'm not changing what I'm eating um, I will eat after I work out but it's just it's when you train and if you can sneak in a little bit of training um, low intensity training when you're fasted it will help to reinforce those kind of uh, fasted benefits and it just reinforces that fat burning metabolism. And another benefit is that this is a very time efficient workout. You know, I'm getting a really great whole body workout in in a very short amount of time and I'm in and out. I don't have to spend an hour doing this, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I'm done. So that's another huge benefit for me. All right, I'm starting my timer, here we go.
All right, so that, that circuit, that round, took me exactly seven minutes. So I'm gonna rest for 60 seconds and then get back after it. All right, that's the workout, everyone. That was a good, tough workout. So that one took me 24 minutes and 58 seconds. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, so it took me a little bit longer. The first, your first circuit, your first round is always gonna be quicker because you're fresh. And then second one, I was a little bit slower. And the third one, I was a lot slower. So it slowed me down. I ended up working about 25 minutes. That's okay. Um, just more, more benefit for me. Um, but yeah, so this is one of the strategies that I'm using right now to get a little bit leaner. I just want to cut a little, a few per percentage points off my body fat. Um, nothing too major. So for me, I'm just doing this once a week. Let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want to see. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this video, if you want to see something different, if you want to see more, let me know. Also, if you enjoyed or learned anything from this video, make sure that you poke that like button and subscribe to the channel. But remember, don't subscribe to being overly self-critical. Keep working hard, stay healthy, and take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. Thanks for watching. Kia kaha.